Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast. Today we're looking at the Netflix film called Spaceman, starring Adam Sandler and a spider called Nanush or something. Uh, okay, what is this movie about? From what I understand, this movie is about some space guy who, you know, who goes on a half a year solo mission into the edge of the solar system. Mm. And the whole point of this film is uh, for the astronaut who's sort of concerned with the state of his life back on Earth is helped by an ancient creature that, that you know, that discovers, that he discovers in the bowels of his ship. So at first glance, that I was reading that description, by the way. So I don't be like, oh my God, what is he talking about? Anyway, at first glance, this film seems like a someone who's having hallucinations because at first you see this sp i'm spoiling shit you see the spider uh, in his flesh and then the next day it's this huge ass tarantula spider looking creature but whatever bro i know spider expert or space exploration expert i ain't elon musk i ain't neil degrasse tyson so i'm not gonna be diving into those Hey, a spaceship has to do this. Uh, you can't do that. You can't capture par particles with a with a glass container. You, I I don't know shit about this. Ain't the channel for you. You find another channel that that will dive into all these uh things. All I all I know is this was created by a guy who had marital problems. That's my personal opinion. Who had marital problems, and instead of going to therapy like a normal person would, but not a fucking real man, but a normal person will go to therapy. Nope, he decided to write this cockamania about a, a s astronaut stuck in space, uh, losing his marbles, envisioning or imagining spiders and whatnot. But it's a it's a really cool ideology though. Spiders have eight legs. What if the spiders are actually aliens from another galaxy? For, from another solar system. That would be a great way to look at things. That would be pretty cool. Like really cool. Like ex extremely cool. Personally speaking. Like that would be fantastic. But this this is the first time I've actually seen Adam Sandler. Partake or act in a film. Where he wasn't ha ha funny. There weren't jokes cracked in this. There wasn't a moment of being giggly. It was a serious uh, dramatic film. Hmm? Series sci-fi, series adventure, it was just that. It was great. And, and the fact that it's a, a collaboration between the Czech Republic and the United States, it's a nice touch. But I have a question. If this is, why, how come, if this is a mission by the Czech Republic, why aren't there at least, a, you know, an accent or something? Jeez. Why did, I get why the Czechs might have, or the, the creator of this wanted, uh, you know, an American actor, so to get eyes on it, I understand that, but I would have watched it still if it was a Czech Republic actor, them speaking Czech, I don't know, what do the Czech people actually speak, whatever they speak, all I'm saying is, this is a weird, um, weird phenomenon for me, I feel like the film gave me false pretenses, when I first saw the trailer, I really thought this would be some sort of horror film, maybe I should have looked into it more and found out what kind of film it is, I just, I just figured it'd be, you see, even the, the cover art, you know, it's an astronaut in water surrounded by trees. So I'm, I'm thinking spaceman, he's going to discover some sort of land. Nope. The whole time he's in a spaceship and the whole time he's hallucinating about his girlfriend in, who's far, who's, who's a year away from him, basically in terms of distance and duration and whatnot. That what would compel a man to leave his home, um, to go on a solo mission across the galaxy? Uh, like I, I'm the I I can claim to be one of the biggest introverts out there. You'll probably find, but I'm not that type of guy. I, I don't think I can stay alone for that long period of time. That's just absurd. And how this guy's doing it is beyond me. But I gotta say, props to Adam Sandler. I would have loved to see more emotion on his face when he was, you know, concerned about his wife not talking to him. But then again, he had a spider, so. This was a serious film. They were not going to show uh, us him jerking off, because imagine the time you'd be jerking off all, the, all, all that time. Damn, amount of porn this guy must be consuming. Because you have to release one way or the other. 
six months in space. I don't give a shit if you have the greatest discipline ever. You gotta bust the nut at one point. <laughs> so, okay, I'm making this dirty. It's not supposed to be dirty. It's supposed to be Adam Sandler's most decent job of acting. And it was, in essence. You know, I will tell you this. The first few scenes when the wife started not talking to him. And then I realized she was pregnant. I thought she cheated on him. I thought, oh my god, this damn bitch uh, cheated on this nigga while he was away. And I was like, man, it makes sense. It makes sense. Man. Imagine like, your husband being away for over a year. Chasing butterflies and stars and shit. And you're stuck at home. With a stupid contraption in your bedroom. Where you get to sit and talk to this bozo. And, and bear in mind, this loser of a husband of yours doesn't even want to talk. Because, let alone, you're not touching each other. You're not in each other's presence. So the best thing you can do is talk. And this guy is obnoxious. He's rude. He barely talks. He barely opens up. So, I understand why she'd be pissed. But, she stops talking to him. And he envisions or hallucinates spiders. I don't know if the spider was there or not there. But, all I know is I saw space worms uh, devouring this creature. And they just withered away. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. A whole time, they, they, they were space worms, and they were visible, and this guy vanished. He was devoured right in front of this guy's face. And for some weird reason, these uh, devourers then tried to devour him as well, which is odd. And bear in mind, these people were holding hands, palms, whatever crap they were holding. They didn't even hug each other at one point. And if this nigga had this dying thing in him, he should have spread it. Don't you think? Whatever. I'm no bioscientist, but no. I'm just saying. If you're on a crew cabin with a... But then again, he tried to... What's the word? Decontaminate the ship at one time when the spider was there. And the whole thing was decontaminated. That means whatever was in there couldn't affect them based on... Based on whatever technology they're using or, or lack of air they're using to de decontaminate a space... But, if whatever's out on space can, you know, slip through a glass container when you're trying to capture stardust, what, what's making it impossible for you to try to decontaminate a disease or a bacteria or a virus or whatever some new discovery of disease that this nigga could contract by hugging and playing with this damn spider? <gasps> Don't leave! He was turned over a goddamn hallucination spider. Unbelievable. And another thing, how is the spider phasing in and out of the ship? That's what I'm concerned about. It, you know, it would have been interesting if somehow the spider came with them from Earth. And because of the space and the particles and whatnot, he developed and got bigger. But he would probably try to eat him. But then the beauty of it would have been spiders have always known how to talk. Okay, I'm trying to make the movie better here. Cut me some legs. I mean, like, spiders have always known how to talk. It was just too small and we couldn't hear them. But now it's bigger, so it knows. And once with the skinny human, that nigga was fat. Nigga, I'm skinny. Okay, I'm not skinny. I almost said nigga, I'm skinny. I'm not skinny. I'm just saying, that nigga was fat. I don't know why the spider called him skinny human. He was literally bigger than the goddamn spider. But it, it kept saying, skinny human, skinny human, skinny human, skinny. Okay, enough of this crap. Um, Let's, let, let's look at a few key points. Uh, moral of the story is uh, this guy learned to be a better husband, learned to be a better human being while out on space. You don't need to go to the stars to be a better person. You don't need to be go to the stars to be a better husband. You just need to stop being a goddamn jerk and so self-centered. Imagine being with a spider creature and not ask the spider creature, Dude, tell me more about your life. This guy didn't do that, which is weird. I mean, like, if a, if a spider came up to me and started having conversations, it started calling me tiny human. After getting to the point where I was like, oh my god, I'm tripping here. I'm so fucking hot. After getting over that fact, I'd be like, Mr. Spider, where you from? Since you can see in my mind, how about you show me in your mind? I mean, like, come on. If this spider could telepathically or uh, what, what, whatever the term they use uh, to see... It, this guy's memories. Obviously, the spider could have given him his memories, and he could see how the spider got there and everything explained. But this Adam Sandler character was a obnoxious prick who was so self-centered he didn't care about anything and everyone about around him. So he ruined the movie. His character ruined the movie. But apparently, this is based off a book. So nonetheless, it was it was really entertaining. 
I feel like I'm knocking it too much. But it was entertaining nonetheless. It was Adam Sandler's most serious work. Dramatic, suspenseful, sci-fi. He did a sci-fi called... Um, what was that sci-fi called? Where he had all the Pokemon... Not Pokemon. Where he had all the Pac-Man Pac or something. Where he had all the Pac-Man Pixel. He did a sci-fi film called Pixel. Which was supposed to be great. But it ended up being... It was good in my opinion. But, you know, the box office and whatnot was like, this movie is trash. But I thought it was good. Anyway, uh, okay, I've been rambling for too long. Uh, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, it's been your boy, Reese Chanson, and this has been uh, an episode of uh, the Let's uh, Netflix and Chill podcast. Uh, let me see what episode this is. You know, I be I be forgetting what episode this be and, 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 and making a whole fuss about it. This is episode 184. It's been a while since I dropped an episode. Uh last i dropped the episode was february 22nd but i've been dropping some content on my youtube channel so check that out when you got time uh, that's for the audio listeners on spotify apple uh amazon and uh google and uh pandora and uh, whatever you bloody hell listening this from remember to subscribe and do not uh leave your boy hanging next time see you next okay great uh go watch it uh the Spaceman or Spaceman by Adam Sandler. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.